the Mlenga family, Elder Lombe, thank you so much for guiding the mothers that came. Um, I was being reminded to be a parent for the first time because I'm used to marrying off people. So I'm told, Pastor, today be a parent. So learning to be a parent was difficult because it's not in me. Yeah, because I'm used to ask who gives. So we want to say thank you, church, for that kind of support. Um, let's keep on praying for them. They have already reported that their station in Chipangali where the, the husband is pastoring. This afternoon, in these remaining hours, I invite you to the book of Exodus. The book of what? Um, <clears throat> the people outside, they are not opening the Bibles in the foyer. I've not seen any. Uh, I can see through the door <clears throat> that they have not opened Exodus. I'll wait for the people in the foyer to open Exodus as well. <clears throat> And those that are watching us online. In this passage of scripture. Now, these names of the 66 books that we have. They have a meaning. Are we together? The book of Exodus is dedicated to the mass exodus of exiting out of the land of slavery for 400 plus years. God, through Moses, his servant, he goes to confront the superpower of the world at the time. Now, Pharaoh was a god. He was being worshipped. Are we together? Amen. Now, if you are an enemy, you are asked going to appear before Pharaoh, you are as good as dead meat. The only good news, the only thing that was going to make him happy was for you to go and preach glad tidings to him. So, as we read the book of Exodus, it's a book that we need in our time. Because God is speaking. Now, how many of you have taken time to read the book of Deuteronomy in the Bible? From the first chapter to the last? The book of Deuteronomy alone. Turn to your neighbor. Say neighbor. There's a roll call. <clears throat> Where are we? <clears throat> Now, the book of Deuteronomy, when you read it, it is an executive summary of the five books. Are we there? Now, Deuteronomy simply means a reputation to give emphasis to that which God had already instructed the Israelites. We are saying as a people, as a church, the seven Adventist church, it is a movement. It is a what? A movement. As we worship the Lord in the last days, the numbers are growing. The numbers are what? Are growing. From the nucleus of the eight of the eight people that arrived at Unsangu Mission to the numbers that we are today. Are we there? Now, the change has work to do. The only challenge is, there is a comment, Elder Mihamba, thank you so much for leading us through. I love the Sabbath school. I love the lessons. That's where the grounding and the growing in faith takes place. Now, he made a statement and said, some of us, we have overstayed in the church. And we tend to forget those small, small things that helped us grow in faith. Are we there? 
Are we, are we their church? Amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor. neighbor. Do you remember the early days when you used to arrive on time? Literally running, coming to church. But it doesn't matter what time I arrive, as long as the people are gathered. No. There is an angel dispatched every Sabbath to come and bless his people. Are we together, church? Are we together? Yes. Now, the church by divine providence, the story of the Israelites finding themselves in the land of bondage, it was not a sheer accident. No. God had a plan and his plan was to populate the Israelites. Canaan was not going to handle the number at a given time. So he deliberately allowed them to go into the land of Goshen, the most fatal land in the land of Egypt. Yes. What does he do? He allowed them to grow in numbers because they had work to do. They had work to do. You cannot stop God's agenda. The slave master they were cruel to the Israelites. They thought by punishing them, they would reduce their numbers. They were mistaken. As you read down, you find the midwives who were attending to the Hebrew women. Even after instruction is given at birth, any male child kill. But what does God do? Through Shephra and the friend, they said, these are God's people. These are God's what? People. And the report reached the king and said, these people, they are not obeying. Who are responsible? Who are the midwives in the maternity ward? Who is the sister in charge? They were summoned. And God put words in their mouth. They simply said, Hey, these women are strong. They are what? Strong. They are not like the Egyptian women who are not strong. By the time we arrive, they will have already given birth. That was a divine plan. That was a divine what? Plan. When the numbers had grown, it was now time to leave Egypt to go and start what God had intended for his people. The 40 years wilderness experience, he was simply trying to refine them, to prepare them. Even the deity that God gave them, it was food for angels, manna, to try and bring no mercy in them because in Egypt they were worshipping foreign gods. You know the story very well. This man, a friend of God and his fellow human being in the name of Moses. In the name of who? Moses. He graduates from one of the Best schools in the world at the time. Qualified. God calls him. Fast forward. It took 40 years of learning in Egypt. And it took 40 years of unlearning what he had learned in Egypt. In order for God to find the room to inculcate what he wanted the servant to learn. Did you get that church? I will repeat what I've said. Moses was leaving Egypt when he was 40. The next 40 years, he was in the Midian University learning to be a leader. 
when he hit 80, when he hit 80, God said, there is work to be done, go back. You go and read in the spirit of prophecy. Now, here is Moses. Moses was a father. He was a husband. He was a father. And a what? You didn't hear me. Are you following church? Are you there, extension? Praise God for that. He was married to a Midian woman called Zipporah. And the two were blessed with two sons. Geshom and Eliezer. These have meaning. Go and check. That's not a study for today. He is in a foreign land. His God did not forget his son and servant. He will not forget his own. Do I hear Amen Church? Amen. Yeah. Circumstances surrounding us at times, we may think he has forgotten. He has not. He does not forget his own. Right in the Median Desert, following the flock, he hears God calling him to come back. Now, the wedding says, I have heard the groanings of my people. The groanings of what? My people. Enough is enough. You go back and tell Pharaoh and tell who? Pharaoh. Now, these places, there are places around. Some of you, you are privileged to work in some of the institutions. The protocols just to get where you are, there's a lot of clearance that needs to be done. And yet you are going to see your fellow human beings and they need to be protected. God finds a way. How? He found his way into the palace. He has a message from God. God says, I have been sent. I have been what? Sent. Now, the order is interesting there. God is the God of order. He says, you go and report. Meet Aaron and the elders. Meet Aaron and who? The elders. And tell them, I have been sent. I have been what? Sent. Now, the structure of our church is Bible based. There is no one human being who stands up to give orders to this church. And I like our structure. Do I hear Amen Church? Yes. Our church works through bodies. You didn't hear that. Our church works through what? Committees, through bodies. Human beings have to be grouped. They need to reason together. They need to pray and ask God. So when he meets his elder brother, when he meets his elder what? Brother. There's something that you have forgotten. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. when were you last in the book of Exodus? God says, God says to Aaron, yeah, Aaron will be your mouthpiece. Aaron will be your what? Yeah. He used to stammer. And many of you who have these people that stammer, their temper is hot. Hello? Yeah? Better be careful. The next thing you just see a stoop flying following because they fail to communicate. For them, they have communicated. Now he says, look, you will stand in my place. I'll give instruction and Aaron will interpret to the people. And the elders were happy. They were tired. Just the way we are tired being in this world. Is it getting any better? No. Now, forget about all these other chapters. I want us to finally now get to chapter 18. Chapter what? 18. Chapter 18, we are going to pick lessons as we move together. Chapter 18 is segmented. You can now get your pens. You can now write on your phones. 
Exodus chapter 1, chapter 18, verse 1 to 4. Say, neighbor, are you writing? <clears throat> I'll repeat, I'm not in a hurry, you will not run away, it is raining outside. <clears throat> Exodus chapter 18, verse 1 to 4. Exodus chapter 18, verse 9 to 11. Just follow me closely. Exodus chapter 18, verse 17 and 18. I want us to pick those portions. Exodus chapter 18, verse 19 to 22. You can even highlight, you can mark that portion. Then finally, 24 to 27. What we find is what God is doing through his people. Through who? His people. He does not use angels to communicate his business in terms of us carrying out his instructions. He will use us who are here in order to reach out to our fellow human beings. Are we together, church? When Moses is now ready... When you read chapter 12 of this book, it will give you a number of people. There were 600,000 plus men. Now, when the Bible gives us that number, there is no woman who is included. It has a Hebrew census in it. It only picks those that are 20 and above. The eligibility of being captured, one needed to be mature. At 20 in Israel, you were a grown-up person who was ready to go and fight and defend the commonwealth of Israel. Now, when you go to the spirit of prophecy, Sister White is saying, it is only Moses, who was given to lead more than two million people under the command of one person. Are you there, church? Amen. Are you there, church? Amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, we'll finish soon. But we need this counsel. Yes. Now, two million people if we have a headache over three children. <clears throat> Hello? Are you there, church? Somebody, we were doing a course somewhere. They're saying, look, these big houses, big houses, are we there? Big houses with many bedrooms, only three people, and the big uh, dogs around. But we are coming from a history where we lived in small houses. You are 19 of you. Hello? Are we there? Now, here he is saying, look, I know the burden you are carrying. I know the burden you are what? Carrying. Mm. Moses is a special person. He was a murderer. He murdered somebody. He murdered what? Somebody. God forgave him. If he can forgive murderers, can he fail to forgive us? No. Now, when he is now ready, I say, he was a father and a husband to two sons. The wife is his poorer. Now, his father-in-law was not an Israelite. He was not a what? An Israelite. Are we there, church? Are you following? Are you aware that there are people who are not Adventists, who are more God-fearing than ourselves? Amen. Yeah. It's clear from the Bible and the spirit of prophecy. He was a priest in Midian. He was a priest, a well-respected person, God-fearing. We can now begin. I have laid the foundation. We are together. 
18 is saying, Now Jethro, the priest of Midian, Moses' father-in-law, heard of all that God had done for Moses and for Israel, his people. How the Lord had brought Israel out of Egypt up to now. History at the Red Sea defies physics. How can a river part? Are we there, church? This is the kind of God we worship because he's love. They heard. It has never happened. But God, when he's on a mission, he does two things. One writer says, the two D's. The two what? D's. He can deliver and destroy. Are we there, church? The army is pursuing. We have made a mistake. Our maids, our cooks, they are gone. Who will be doing these chores? By the time the king was making his decision, Israel is already by the banks of the Red Sea. By the banks of the Red Sea. On the right, it is a mountain. On the left, it is a mountain. Behind them, the chariots of the most powerful kingdom on earth is pursuing them. Right in front of them, the Red Sea is full to the brim. Where do they run to? When they turned and looked behind, they started accusing him. Moses, are you saying Egypt did not have enough soil where we could have been buried? Now, leadership is not a child's play. Amen? Servant leadership. Servant what? Leadership. Moses is leading them. Moses is leading his people. God's people. They cry. Yeah. Then Moses cries to God. Yes, what should I do? I have heard Tongas, but here we don't have, we only have Christians. In camp meetings, Mose Waga Umamenda. No, 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 no. It's not true. He simply stretched. Are we together? Are we together? He stretched and the water did what? Parted. Israel passed on dry ground. On dry what? And Miriam, when they were finally on the other side, that is chapter 15 of Exodus, she led, she was a musician. Yeah? She led, and Israel responded. The Bible is saying, therefore, the people, sorry, then two, Jethro, Moses' father in law, took Moses' wife, Zipporah, after. He had sent her away. And there are two sons of whom one was named Geshom. For Moses said, I have been a sojourner in, in a foreign land. The other was named Eliezer. For he said, the God of my father was my health. Or was my help. And delivered me from the sword of Pharaoh. Do I hear Amen Church? You sit in your home. The rentals are due. The rentals are what? Due. The school fees are due. You didn't hear me. From one appointment to the other, even the family members are now gossiping. Hey, in this home, there are problems. When you need them the most outside coverage area. Yes. But God is it still there for his people? Do I hear Amen, church? Yes. Your experience and my experience is important. We need to share that. Listen to this. They are 
continually reminded of their status as aliens. As what? Aliens. We are sojourners in this life. In all that which we do, let us not forget that we are pilgrims. Are we together, church? When you are a pilgrim, you do certain things in a certain way. And this is what Israel was doing. As we skip, as we skip, and, and they are reminded as aliens, and their deliverance from Egypt. And their deliverance from what? Egypt. Egypt, once you are out of the book of Exodus, it simply refers to the world. It simply refers to the what? To the world. When you were not employed, when you were not married, when you were hungry, who came through? Are we together, church? Who came through? Who was there to stand for you? This is what is now being repeated here. As we go on, I want you to read through so that you have ample time to finish it. But allow me to go to, child, to verse 19. This portion is important before I sit down. Are we there, church? Are we there, church? Listen to this. The Bible is saying, he sees his son-in-law very hard working. He's working hard from sunrise to sunset. I'm the leader. I'm the what? The leader. These people have problems. These people have problems. Even when people say, you know, pastor's children, elder's children, they are wayward. Here is the weakness. Here is the what? The weakness. When you accept leadership, there are times you even forget that you have your your immediate family. Are we there? Are we there? Amen. Yeah. You are sick, you receive a phone call. So and so is an, you forget your own sickness. And you think of the other person. Now, here is what I want you to take. He gives him counsel. He says, I have seen my son in law, you are hard working, but I want you to take caution. You will be worn out. You live only a few years. You live only a few what? A few years. You cannot sit in the morning. People are bringing issues. I have given you the data. You need to divide them into smaller groups. Into smaller what? Groups. Put them in the groups of tens, of fifties, of hundreds and a thousand. Are we there? Now, when you do this, select, that is our title, select, you shall select. You don't just pick for the sake of what? Picking. There's a selection process. Who can do what? And this is what we find. To this very day as a church, the Seventh-day Adventist church, Picks chapter 18 of Exodus as our model. As our what? Model. From the church, we go to the conference, the union and the general conference. Nothing more, nothing less. As we lead in, in this uh, 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 era, may we learn from Moses. May we learn from who? Moses. If you are a leader, you have an assistant. Somebody said, this idea of allowing the assistant to only work when you are sick is bad leadership. Hello? Yes. Delegate. Learn to delegate. Learn from others. It is very, very important. When you work as a team, we achieve more. Do I hear Amen Church? Amen. Very, very important. You are not special. We are all special. Are we together, a church? In conclusion, he says, uh, verse 19, now, let me read verse 17. Since some of you, when we give you chapters, you just pack them the moment you leave the church. <laughs> 17, Moses' father-in-law said to him, 
The thing that you are doing is not good. It's not what? Good. You will surely wear out both yourself and these people who are with you. For the task is too heavy for you. You cannot do it alone. Do I hear Amen Church? Elder Fanny, are we together? That business of saying no deacons should do carry chairs. Who said they will choose deacons to be carrying chairs? Amen. It's not there. Where are the people who sat on the chairs? <laughs> Hello? Elder Nava, where are they? Where are they? As we sit, pray with us that God will choose leaders. They are already there. Do I hear Amen Church? It is the process he uses to appoint because we are a movement and an organized church. A representative church. It is very, very important. Very, very important. I don't know how I forgot my hand. Sorry for that. Yes. Now, he is saying, you and your people, you and your what? Your people. There are times when the elder's board is uh, on yeah, I see how my leaders change positions. Time is ticking. Both you and the people that you are with, you wear out. Are we there? Amen. This is a church where every baptized member becomes part of God's family. Are we there, church? Yes. May I finish? He says, Now listen to me, verse 19. Allow me to mention Elder Ganchele. We were chatting. He is an elder who is a friend of mine. <laughs> Pastor, you have elders. <laughs> yes. You have what? Elders. During the campaign, there are things we did not bring to your attention. Where is Elder Lombe? Yes. <laughs> He's there. <clears throat> There are things that were going on, going on, going on. They were heavy. Yeah, they were heavy. But what do you do when you have ten elders? You throw it to the elders as you also battle on the other side. Teamwork. Do you hear me, church? Team what? Teamwork. When we learn how to work the Moses way, the mosaic way when he got baptized through the council it is every member who is gifted in a unique way who can grow God's church Amen. you were baptized you don't even remember when you last prayed in front here somewhere where I went somebody is told to pray the coming week but they did not communicate upon arrival they are told you are praying. You are what? You are praying. No, you should have told me in advance. How? A prayer to be told in advance, that is an index to something big. Are we there? Are we there? Yes. Then he says, look, we are concluding now. He says, I want us to take this counsel very serious. He says, yes, now listen to me. I will give you counsel and God be with you. And God be with you. You be the people's representative before God. And you bring the disputes to God. Follow that verse. Are we together, church? Servant leadership. Servant what? Leadership. May we be accessible as leaders. As leaders. May we grow God's church. Yes. I have told you. Somewhere these few years that we have been around. When God points a finger. When God points a what? A finger. He knows what he has already put in the heart of that man and that woman. Let us support each other. He says, look, 
you as a leader, don't carry the Lord, the burden alone. Then he goes on to tell him to say, look, then teach them the statutes and the laws and make known to them the way in which they are to walk and the work they are to do. This is now training. Are we together? Failed leadership. Failed what? Leadership. Is leadership which does not reproduce. Are we there? Yeah, the leadership gurus. If you are a Dorcas leader, when you step out, who is your successor? Are we there, church? You are not there. Why are you annoyed? I want to sit, but I should stress before I sit here. When I step aside, who takes over? Who takes over? Yeah? When you sit aside and create enough room for the people you are leading, it is you as a leader because you are not adding, but you are multiplying. Did you get that? Yes. Whatever mistakes they will make, stand by their side. When they do it well, give them credit. We'll have more workers. And God is looking for more workers. Then he says, then he says, yes, teach them the work they are to do. Furthermore, you shall select. You shall what? Select. Out of all the people, able men who fear God. Who fear what? God. Men of truth. Those who hate this honest gain. And you shall place these over them as leaders of thousands, of hundreds, of fifties, and of tens. Let them judge the people at all times. And let it be that every major dispute they will bring to you. But every minor dispute they themselves will judge. So it will be easier for you and they will bear the burden with you. I've closed my new American Standard Version. I've closed. Amen? Amen. Say neighbor. Amen. We have concluded. Sister Makung, we have concluded. Yeah. God is looking for selfless leaders. Are we together, church? Allow me to read this and I will be done. Yes. Jethro proposes four administrative levels. Notice that the administrative procedure and laws do not originate from within the community of Israel. Jethro, as an outsider, is used by God to introduce them. Did you get that? Servant leadership is key. In leadership, the flock is God's people and we are held accountable to him. I want to thank all the leaders that have toiled this year. We were arrested because of COVID. But we thank God we are here. Do I hear amen somebody? Amen. I want to leave this question. Why are you still alive when many died? Why am I still breathing today? We saw people going. We saw people going. He has an assignment that he wants you to do. He has an assignment that he wants me to do. My prayer is, may we continue to grow God's church. He stressed something. That whenever you are, be a church. You are the extension church. We may rise for prayer. We may rise for prayer. Our loving Father and our God who is in heaven, who are we to be counted among the living but pieces of clay that are deformed by sin? And yet, in your own infinite wisdom, you have seen it fit to choose among these who will lead your church. I pray that, Father, servant leadership 
selfless leaders, they are already there. May the biddings of the Spirit give us those leaders. We want to pray for Woodlands Extension Church. Thank you for leading us in the campaign that you led yourself. It was successful and it will continue to grow. Sacrifices were made in a bigger way. You who is a God who knows how to reward. We pray that you may reward each one of your people. We want to ask that Father you continue to bind us together. Continue to watch over us. We are one peculiar family. Bind us is our asking in Jesus, we pray. Amen.